uh, in the last video that we talked about uh, was the modeling of an RCC roof and uh, as we are there itself like uh, when we switch on the heat map and uh, on the RCC roof we easily created 138 kilowatt of site as you can see like the panels have been placed and uh, the kilowatt that has been made on this RCC roof is 138 kilowatt. Today we are going to uh, learn about uh, how to design this uh, shed roof. So shed roof modeling is pretty easier, I would say, than uh, uh, traditional methods. So I'll just uh, save this design first so that nothing we nothing gets lost. Uh, to create a shed roof, I'll use a pitch roof. And once we use a pitch roof, I'll just mark all the four corners of the shed roof. And as we can see, this shed roof is to uh, facing towards this direction that is southeast direction and northwest direction so in that case this two uh, shapes that is facing towards northeast and southwest needs to be deleted so for deleting these two we just need to double click on the uh, this, this side and delete it so we'll double click on this side as well and delete it now we have these two sides and once we click on the model, it asks for a base height. Base height is the uh, the height on the lower end. So let's say I'll give it a height of uh, uh, 12 meters and uh, tilt angle. You can give it as per your wish. So let's say I'll take 12 degree of tilt as well and update. So now within few seconds, we have created the shed roof. So the shed roof has been created. So as you can see, like this is showing as a transparent uh, shape because we have switched on the heat map on uh, in our model. So once we switch off the heat map, so let's say I want to switch off the heat map. I'll just save this and switch off. So I'll switch off the heat map and I'll hide the solar axis as well. Now, if you'll see it in 3D, it would be something like this with a solid shape whenever you switch on the heat map it will show you the 3d model in a uh, transparent manner then uh, to create a, a like skylights or air vents it's very easier onto this uh, uh, solar lab software so you just need to select the polygon tool so i'll just make the polygon over here one polygon set and then I'll give it a height. So let's say I'll take a minimal height of 0.1 meters and a tilt angle same as 12 degrees and azimuth towards southeast direction. And then we update it. So once we have made this uh, one of the skylights, we need to make two more. So we will just do a copy paste and then we will increase the repeat count to two. So on the bottom over here, you will find the repeat count. So this is where you find the repeat count and then we place it. Now to create the air vents, we will create the air vents, but uh, before that we will complete the whole set of uh, this uh, uh, skylight. So on the other side as well, we will do a copy paste, but here we will need to change few things. So firstly, we need to change the azimuth. So once we click here, the azimuth is showing towards southeast direction i'll change it to northwest and then we will do a copy paste and then we will use the repeat count to do and place it so likewise we have placed the skylights for the air vents we will use the cylinder tool we'll mark it at the at the center of one of the air vents and uh, then we will uh, give it a height so once we will we have marked it then we will give it a height 0.8 meters and then we will do a copy paste and increase the repeat count to uh, we need three more so we will just put three and once you have placed the air vent you can readjust the air vents as well so if you want to readjust the air vent you can just readjust it here for the other side of the roof we can just uh, copy paste it so i'll just do a copy paste. I can place it over here and then we will do a repeat count of two and then we can place it. 
this and for the readjustment again we will just drag this little bit towards left and now our 3d model is complete but as we have not changed the azimuth of this it's showing us uh, south uh, like uh, southeast direction so i'll change it to southwest uh, northwest and uh, for each of them we will change it to northwest so in 3d model it would be something like this so these are the skylights these are the air vents onto the roof and this is our shed roof so it's pretty much easier to make a shed roof and uh, to place the panels again we need just need to click onto the roof double click onto the roof and do a fill base and it will place the maximum number of panels that can be placed onto the roof leaving the obstacles aside over here we will cover a few more things like how to place walkways and other things so i'll just demonstrate you one of the walkways so walkway can be found out in the model tool and once you click on walkway you can just uh, place it over here so likewise you can place the walkways if you readjust the walkway it will be placed accordingly you can change the width of the walkway as well if you want to if you want to adjust readjust more panels you can readjust the more panels by just moving the walkways toggle direction is there where you can keep the walkway distance a little bit high then we will also place uh, this is the horizontal walkway if you want to put a vertical walkway you can just place it from here and walk the most interesting factor is walkway can also be copy pasted so we will do a copy paste and we will use a repeat count and then we can place it so walkways can be placed and likewise if you want to remove a remove the walkway you just need to do a control z and the walkway will be removed if you want to change the walkway width like right now the walkway width if you will see it's uh, 0.25 meters if i want to change it to 0.8 meters i can just change it and update it according to that the panels will be readjusted we will also place a safety line so that it helps uh, in clamp uh, whenever the worker uh like site engineers go up uh onto the roof they can clamp themselves then uh, we will also put a handrail so let's say i'll put a handrail from here so once we have taken the handrail we just need to click on this tick sign and our roof is made the 3d model is something like this this is the safety line this is the walkway over here and then this is the handrails so within few minutes of time we have created the models of these two roofs and we have easily created a dc size of to uh, 47.90 kilowatt approximately to 50 kilowatt of site there are many questions that has come to us like uh, can we place a roof uh, like if it is a north facing roof i want to have a tilt yes you can do so you can do a fill face it will place in a flush mount manner you just need to change it to fix mount and update it so now the panels will be placed according to the tilt angle and facing towards south, true south and if you want to readjust facing towards southeast direction you can just change it towards southeast you can also change the row spacing manually so let's say i want to change it to let's say 2.5 meters or 2.8 meters then we can update it and now the 3d model will be something like this where you have uh, taken a like a height from there you can change the height of this accordingly so this is how you can do the rooftop modeling of a uh, shed roof if i want to delete these panels i'll just delete it and continue the panels has been deleted 
247 kilowatt is a good number and uh, let's see if there is any shadow falling because of these obstacles so we'll switch on the heat map and the solar access once again so once we switch on the solar access we see like all the panels are green so here we can see like 97.3 uh, percentage of the time so we will just switch off this and now we will just uh, place inverters and uh, we can just uh, calculate the generation so gen inverters can be placed uh, from uh, the component section so in the component section you will find inverter menu so like we have a uh, inverter menu base uh, like panel in uh, menu base we have a string uh, inverter menu base as well for micro inverters string inverters and central inverters you can select from any of them so let's say i'm selecting 50 kilowatt of uh, any inverter so i'll search for it it will show me many of the uh, like uh, inverters i'll just use solace i can use any of the inverters uh, so i'll just use it so i placed uh, 250 kilowatt of system here the load ratio has been calculated that is dc to ac ratio once we save it the whole thing has been done and now if you want to uh, like uh, see like what is the dimension from uh, like what is the length from this roof to this obstacle so you can use a dimension tool as well so once you click on dimension tool you can just uh, mark from here till the other obstacle and you can find the exact distance then we save it and once we have created the whole roof structure you can you would have a question like if we can add our maps or not so yes you can add your custom images so there's a custom image option where you can upload your JP, uh, jpg or png format file and uh, you can uh, set a scale and create a layout which is under construction building if you have autocad layout of an under construction building so you can just uh, upload it over here set a scale and then you can make a design so once we have created all this we can just save the design and click on calculate generation so once the generation is calculated we can just uh, um, see like how much annual generation specific generation performance ratio would be it takes around 20 seconds after time to calculate what will be the generation for the whole site so in the meanwhile i'll sh uh, also show you like uh, what is uh, wire size and uh, how do we generate the sld but as we uh, as our annual generation specific generation performance issue has been calculated over here you can see the numbers then in the design settings you can change some of the losses parameters like soiling loss mismatch loss lid loss ohmic losses uh, then module degradation rate inverter efficiency loss so these all losses can be changed manually as well now in uh, in the next uh, like uh, part that comes as an sld so we have wire size calculator uh, which is opening right now you need to save this wire size calculator to generate the sld every time you need an sld you need to save it if you want to change some of the parameters on wire size calculation you can change it as well by just putting number of current kind conductors and uh, conductor size this uh, wire size has been made as per the nec standards you can see like uh, 2014 17 and 20 that has been considered over here so according to that you can just uh, create your own wire size once you have saved the uh, wire size you can just click on studio again and it will take you to the same site and then you can click on view option and line diagram so line diagram now will show you the sld which can be exported into uh, exported as cad so that if you want to make any necessary changes you can make that over here you can see some changes uh, some things like uh, how many modules has been connected with um, which spring like 26 modules has been connected till string 6 but uh, in string 7 there are only 12 modules and then it goes to the junction box then it goes to the inverter and then it goes to the production meter or, uh, over here where you have few other things that you can change so in production meter you will 
see uh, normal side, load side and line side. So you can change it according to uh, your choice. Then in AC disconnect, you will have uh, uh, like with fuse and without fuse. So you can just change it. So let's say non fuse or with fuse. In uh, bidirectional utility meter, you can just uh, see like uh, if you wanted top fed, center fed, no main with sub panels, no main with sub panels, solar AD panels. So all these things can be selected. So let's say I want to select with sub panel. I'll just select it over here. And it the sub panel has come up over here. If you can see 530 amperes. Also, we have uh, a thing called uh, 3LD where you can see a three line diagram. So here you can see like uh, all three line diagrams and everything can be exported into the SLD as CAD. So export option is over here. Then we also provide an export for the 3D model uh, for SketchUp and PV says. So if you want to make any editing on SketchUp or PVS by taking the data from here, you can export the file and you can do the uh, changes. That is available with only premium features. So uh, mostly it will be unavailable for uh, the people who are on basic and light plan. Uh, it would be only available, the SketchUp and the PVS thing will be only available with premium plan. So in the next part of our video, we will talk uh, more about uh, other things. So uh, we talk, uh, let's meet up in the next uh, video and uh, learn more about solar labs.